less than a day after the deadly bombing at Moscow's Domodedovo airport, and remarkably, things seem to be back to normal. Just a handful of floral tributes have been laid in memory of the 35 people killed by the blast in the arrivals hall. Disruption and delays are at a minimum, and these travellers seem calm, but anxiety is not far below the surface. What happened is a terrible tragedy. I'm still shocked. I am sad for those people. What if it happens again? This is what we are afraid of. Security measures have been boosted at the airport. Luggage is now being x-rayed at the entrance to the building itself. President Dmitry Medvedev blamed what he called the anarchic security situation at Domodedovo for not intercepting the bomber. There have been violations of security rules. There was no other way such a quantity of explosives could have been let through. Airport authorities will have to answer for what happened. Officials have described the attack as bearing all the hallmarks of militants from the troubled, mainly Muslim North Caucasus region. Some analysts believe the attack could have been prevented with better intelligence gathering by the security services. Metal detectors, checks at departure and arrival gates are a good thing but it does not replace the essential work of the special services to infiltrate terrorist organizations, identify them and liquidate them. Russia is keen to reassure the international community that it can contain terrorism ahead of the Winter Olympics and the Football World Cup due to be hosted here. The government has said retribution against those responsible for the airport attack is inevitable.